What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to Team COG. Today, I got my man Emmanuel here rocking his Sword Soul deck. He has gone 12 and 1 with it over the past course of November, which if you guys know, it's like November 13th. So that's like two weeks. He's just kind of wrecked his locals. So my man, why don't you just go ahead and yeah, lay it out for us? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, let's let's show my deck profile. Uh, we got three Ecclesias, pretty standard. I seen a couple of videos of, like running two of these. I honestly think this is a must three card to have in Sword Soul. Um, pretty standard three Moji. This card is amazing. Three long yawn. Pretty broken. It wins you at time. Uh, that card kind of reminds me of like Infer Noble Knight Oliver, you know, being able to special yeah. summon that guy as like free extension. Yeah, and it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire too, huh? Well, what do you know? The similarities. Yeah. Um, my favorite source hold, I think this is the best of them, but you don't want to see many of many copies of them. Taya. He in the grind game is the best of all. Um, if you top deck this, you have almost full combo there. And then we got the 10G package, three Ashuna, two Bishuda, and two Adhara. Pretty standard. standard. 10G so package. I've like I've noticed in um, the the Sword Soul groups that they're playing like a, it's kind of like a toss up between the Tenyi and the uh, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer package. Mm -hmm. So what's your opinions of those two? The thing with the Enforcer package is that if your opponent um, interrupts you, that, that's it. If you don't have, let's say, Long Juan in hand, you're not going to be able to do anything else. Just like normal summon and pass turn. Maybe set something and pass turn, and that won't be enough. And maybe if you have, you know, if you open Fusion Destiny, well, of course, you know, you, you can, you know, summon Enforcer, but one normal summon and enforcer i don't think that's great of a feel you know yeah definitely and i get th that that makes sense yeah the tank g package give you a higher ceiling and without committing your normal summon you can do so much you know be shoot up you know bounces a card this special summons a tangy from deck locking you you know worm i mean tangies where are more tangies? Yeah, tangy. Um, and this guy, this guy's really good. You can banish him and you know get back one of your banished worm monsters back to the hand. Allows for that like that like really good grind game. Mhm. Mm On the spice, I seen people run this in side deck, but I think this card must be in main deck. Arch nemesis protos. This card is so great in this format, especially especially in Sword Souls. What this guy does is like you you can banish three monsters, different attributes, and you get to special summon this card. He cannot be destroyed by card effects, and you can declare one attribute from your field, destroy all of those attributes, and your opponent can special summon that attribute until his end phase so let's say um you play at your locals and you kind of know what they're gonna play let's say you know someone that's gonna play pk you can go first turn summon protos called dark and they're not gonna be able to play uh, is is it searchable in the deck yeah it's really searchable you you'll see it later when we get to the spells awesome i mean that yeah that's some pretty like a walking floodgate that's pretty cool yeah, and since this deck has almost all attributes, I mean, all attributes, you can, you know, call any attribute you want on the field. Let's go for the spells. We got three Source Soul Emergence. This is the road of the deck. And if you control a Synchro Monster, you can add a Worm instead. So you can add Arch Nemesis Protos from deck to hand. 
this is a really great card also um i haven't used the second effect yet but if you banish it you can decrease or increase one sorcel the level of a sorcel but yeah it's 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 pretty pretty great that effect but it doesn't it hasn't come out yet mm, we got the one of sorcel sacred submit this is a monster reborn um you know self-explanatory um, i only run two vessels i seen people run three i seen people not running this card uh, i seen people run one i honestly like two of them because it's just alone it doesn't do anything you know it's just foolish boreal but if you control an on effect monster you can also add and it's a hard once per turn so you don't you don't want to see a lot of copies in the first hand of this card i kind of like one's too little three's too many so two is just perfect yeah the i have a lot of love and hate relationship with this card that's why i only play two pot of desires um when i first built build this deck i i ran three of them but it happened you know desires for desires and i really hated that so i only have two of them and so far i haven't robbed you know i haven't draw desire from desires it's a really good there, there there's no greater gut punch than desiring yeah. than drawing two desires yeah other thing is it banishes 10 cards and this deck has um a synchro level 10 that we're gonna see later that he gets boosted for each card banish on the field you'll see later we got one gold sarcophagus um the you know this card what it does you know you can banish any card from your deck and you get it on the second standby phase but that doesn't this card this is not why you you have this card this card you have it because you can banish um sorcerer blackout and you get a free token let's say you're in a scenario that you're you open just one name of sorcerer you summon him and your opponent impermanent you impermanent you or bailer you know if you have the gold sarcophagus you summon the token and you can keep playing so it's just a really powerful like extend yeah exactly we got three forbidden chalices i love this card this card right now it's underrated in my opinion it's a really powerful color card this meta since you know it negates you know it negates a lot of stuff flunderies source or mirror mash you know it's a really powerful card and also make sure that you don't lose to a, a window exactly yeah um three dark ruler no more self-explanatory this deck can break a board really easy and dark ruler no more helps you with that i wish i had instead of dark ruler no more i have droplets um but right now, you know, I'm playing Dark Ruler no more. I'm doing my, you know, my homework to get <laughs> the droplets. Um, we got two blackout. Three is too many. Two is essential. I seen people run one, but the thing is, you can't, you can't, you could banish it with um, desires, and you know, it will be dead. So, two is okay, since you can search it. Yeah. I assume you want to have one to search so you can Icarus attack and then one for like the extension with like Gold Sark and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Three Impermanence. It's really, really, really great card in this format. Everything that, that targets and negates in this format is really, really good. Baylor, Chalice, Imperm, Droplets. That droplet doesn't target, right? But you know, you get the point. Yeah, it's just it's just they're just so good this like this format it just seems like mm -hmm. and it's it's to me it's like it's very it's very interesting because prior to this format they were like imperm and like chalice was not well chalice for sure wasn't being played but then like 
as soon as we had like the weekend and stuff with like flunderies and like sword soul everybody's now trying to play chalice which i find to be like it's like chalice has always done what chalice has done and it's mm -hmm. been so good but now it's like getting some of the, it's underrated but it's starting to get more of the spotlight yeah exactly and for the final card imperial order this card you gotta love yeah since this since this deck is kind of like you know sort of like tri brigade that they you know they um put one card back and add with with this deck you draw with moje you draw with with part of desires all right and maybe you could you know draw it or maybe on on first hand you know this card alone wins you games i i think that card deserves to be banned personally but I get. I mean, I get it. It's such an easy blowout card. I remember. Remember when Tri Brigade would see that card like all the time that people mm -hmm. were joking, saying it's called Tri Brigade Order instead of Imperial Order. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember that. They always have it. They always have it. Okay, let's go to the extra deck. Two monk, one shaman. You know, so special summon Tenji, turn it into monk. You know self-explanatory this card is really good it in certain scenarios it helps you win the game because you can like discard one card revive one worm but you can't activate um you can't activate you can only activate the 10 g effect monsters on that turn but still it's so great it, it can give you an otk easily to chi shao really good card this is the level that you're you're always gonna you know summon. And Cheng Ying, this car is the guy I was telling you. He gains a hundred for each car banish, and it, it decreases a hundred um, for each car banish to your opponent's monsters. So this guy is really, really, really a threat. He, with desires and, you know he, he will be at 4k and your opponent's monsters are gonna have 1k less also he cannot be destroyed by card effects by it's like titan that if he gets destroyed by card effect, you can banish and he survives also if he um if a card is banished you can activate his effect banish one card on the field without targeting and one card in the graveyard so it's really, really powerful card. Really powerful. He's he's very easy to like. So, like when I played against Sword Soul at this at the Ghost tournament, he was so e like you think like he's not that like he's not that easy to get to the effect off. But like when you're banishing for your tinnies, when you're banishing for desires, like he was just so easy to get the effect of banish stuff. It's yeah, it is. Like for example, you can let's say you have Changing and Chi Shao. You can activate Chi Shao effect banish negate and then in another chain you can activate him and banish again or it may or you can like activate um blackout target him protect him pop two plus you're gonna banish two again so yeah it's really really it's really a great card okay. we got here barone the floor <laughs> this card is really broken it doesn't have any cost at all it's just pop the gate and revive without any cost. This car is really insane. It is. Is it worth the hundred and thirty dollar price tag? It is. It is. It's. It's basically free. You know, the, all his, all her effects are free, no cost at all. Target destroy, negate without paying any cost, and at standby phase, you can go back to the extra deck and revive a level nine or lower. So yeah, it's. Free. It's really insane. Uh, when this card got got like eighty five dollars, I think it was. I managed to get it at seventy five dollars. So yeah, dang, got got it for a deal, man. I I got my box from uh, that set and I pulled five ultras, which is like unheard of, you know. And didn't pull and didn't pull oh a single bear. Oh my god, that's bad luck there. Uh, we got two boxia. You know, he's such a great card. Special summon him. Target two cards and shuffle them back to the deck. Pretty insane. Also, the second effect. Once per turn, you can target one of your monsters. 
and one monster level four lower from your graveyard pop it pop your monster and then revive again so yeah it's it's really good for plays we got draco tenji really good card and that and that's because like some of the effects kind of restrict you correct so like you use the true yeah, the draco yeah. or the draco tenji to go into yeah, yeah. yeah because life. because ashuna restricts you um only worms so when you can like if you're a scenario that you can like summon baroness well you you can like summon him or or you can summon i'll tell you in a bit you can summon Xiao Fen. i'm gonna tell you later a combo with him okay so we got an emancipator dragite you know spell and trap negate versus those decks that love traps and and spells it's a really great card Prince and Blader against Mirror Match, against Virtual World, um, Invoke. Once you pop a monster, they can, they can summon level 5 for higher monsters until the end. It's really insane card. It, it was getting uh, bought out and searched for at the, like I said, at the Ghost Term I went to. Like everyone was asking, does anyone have Crimson Blader, Crimson Blader, Crimson Blader? It was, it was being sought after pretty high. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really it's it's a really good card. We got Shao Fen. Shao Fen, this is a really, really great card against Dryton. Basically you summon this and it's over because they can activate light effect monsters. So yeah, they can you know, they can play their 40 cards unless they have I don't know, droplets, imperm, you know, specific cards to stop this card. Put puts the opponent on better half yeah we got jossie i have i have never used this card yet i'm thinking about you know dropping him out but i don't know man i don't know i don't know if to you know drop him out yet rudy rose dragon i haven't used him either i haven't had a scenario where this is beneficial for me I'm thinking about swapping this for Shang Cheng, which I think it's a bit better. And because this is, this card is, you know, a specific scenario. Let's say you're in a grand game versus PK. You summon this, banish their graveyard, they can play in their next turn. But, you know, that's a specific scenario. Let's go to the side. All right, side. man. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and show us your side. Side deck is Trinibiru, three Lancia, powerful card in this meta. Again, <laughs> RP, Triple Lightning Storm, my tech choice, Three Dimensional Barrier. This is a great card against Mayor Match, against Invoke Shadal. It can it can be used against PK because you can call Fusion or Exceed. And two anti spell. That's my side deck there. All right, my man, before we wrap up the video, what would you say is the deck's hardest matchup? Invoke Chidal, Dogmatica, because of Winda, you know? <laughs> so you'd say against, like, all the other decks out there, like, you know, Virtual World, even the Flunderies deck, what's another, PK, all, like, the meta contenders, you would say that uh, Shadal Invoke or Dogmatica yeah, Shadal Invoke yeah. is the hardest one? Mm -hmm. It is, because let's say you have... Let's say you're against a really really good dogmatica shadow player they're gonna hold the window for a specific moment so let's say you summon um you activate an attendee effect they could they could like summon wind down there and you can't do anything unless you have droplets dark brewer no more chalice you can't do anything or depending on you know how they play they can summon you the wind down you can't play you, you can actually play okay well that makes sense my man well i can thank you enough for sharing your list and uh maybe next time we'll have to get a combo off of you and you can show us some of the spicy combos you can do yeah sure thing all right thank you so much my man emmanuel take it easy and remember everybody stay happy and stay safe